Hello, hello, once again, thank you for tuning in, and if it's the first time here, my name is Chandra, and I hope this message blesses you or somebody out there. And today's topic is we miracles within ourselves. So my father wants me to come here and tell his children that there is a greater purpose in, inside of all of us, and there's something that God is always trying to pull out of us. A lot of us are not realizing that we are miracles within ourselves. God is always trying to pull out many fences of who we are, but in order for him to do so, we need the word of God to pair up with until who we are is in the right season so that we can begin to explore the miracles, the signs and wonders that God can do through all of us. And in order for us to be able to exploit all these miracles, signs and wonders, we're supposed to mature in the Lord. We're supposed to grow up and most of the people, they're holding themselves up. For example, if you believe in God for something, you need to prepare for what you are being believing God for in advance. Because faith without words is dead. God expects us to put effort in everything that we do to match what we believe in Him for. Another example is that when you receive like a prophetic word, you have to believe that already it's been done. You have to go in prayers and ask God what to do to be able to receive this prophetic word to see it manifest to life. If it means that you have to grow to receive it, then we have to start preparing. When I say preparing, I mean like study the word of God, chew on the word of God daily, on daily basis, then get into a position to receive. Because the word of God never returns void. But we can only delay, delay ourselves when we are being disobedient to him. There's always two sides to each coin. And to receive all of God's promises, it all depends on your doing. And it's important also to stay in his will always. And if God, for example, if God promised you marriage, and he shows you who your spouse is. You don't need to rush and tell that person what God has shown you. You have to wait for God to show the same thing to them. And once they know, then you have to make sure that you do the right thing. You get married, then you consummate the marriage. But what most people do, once God showed them this kind of revelation, they jump into conclusions and go into fornication before marriage. Not understanding that by doing that, they're automatically going into a transaction in the wrong kingdom, and that is the kingdom of darkness. And that will be the same kingdom that you'll be able, you will have to rip in. Consequently, this is where your seed of harvest is going to resign. So now, it will look like you've sabotaged everything that God wanted you to do. And it will look like the prophetic word didn't come to pass. Well, if that's not the case, it means that you didn't meet the condition. Because the Bible teaches us that when a prophetic word has been spoken over your life, or even if like a promise of God, you have to stay in his will, and there has to be a condition that has to be met. And that's how it works. And most of the time, people delay things in their lives by not fulfilling. This can even cause unnecessary delays in your marriage. This can cause things like delay in childbearing and delays in promises or blessings that comes in a marriage because you didn't meet the condition. And most people, they do this and they miss it and they always blame God. 
And most of these delays in our lives had nothing to do with God. That's why sometimes you'll have to fast, study the word, and break up with those principalities. Because obedience causes delays. Even if you do things the right way, you have to be careful of your words. You don't have to, you have to be careful not to say things like, Oh God, I want this marriage for myself. You have to understand that the blessing is coming from God. And you have to take everything that you've been asking God and give it back to Him. You have to give Isaac back to God so that God can give Isaac back to you. You have to say to God, God, you have given me this marriage. So now we are putting this marriage back in the altar for your glory. I want my husband and I to serve you as long as we live. God, you are the centerpiece of this marriage or this union and let your name be glorified through us. And let your will be done. Let the destinies be fulfilled in this union. It's all about you, Jesus. And let this union be a union of fruitfulness. And every fruit you receive will be given back to you in dedication. Let your works through us receive your glory. And let be a union of your miracles, signs, and wonders. We bless your holy name. The book of James 1.17 tells us that every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of light, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. And also, the book of Thess Thessalonians 5.18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. And also, the book of Psalm 107, 1, it says, Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for his steadfast love endures forever. People of God, we need to understand that we are miracles within ourselves. And we can only manifest those miracles if we are in Christ and we know who Christ is in our lives and we follow him and we do what he wants us to do and we will have like a fulfilling life and we will all be blessed. Every miracle is within us. All it needs is to be manifested. And how you do that is you read the word of God. You have a relationship with our Father. You pray, you fast, you make God your everything. And everything will become pass, will come to pass in your life. So I hope you've been blessed by this message. And if you have, please like and share, subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching and God bless you.